Here's the laptop. It is made by Asus and it looks like this. It is expert book. Asus expert book and let's analyze it. On the left side it has two USB-C ports. It has a local area network. It has an HDMI output. It has a USB connector. LEDs for power, battery and hard drive SSD access. A speaker here on the bottom. On the front it doesn't have anything, no connectors, only for opening the display. Another speaker here on the right side. The power button is here. A headphone and microphone input and output. Another USB connector, a card reader, micro SD, and a Kensington lock. On the back, we have some outputs for the heat. That's the back of the laptop. There are two fans here. Now they are somewhat visible. The model is B5602CB. It has a rubber feet. One, two, a long one, those are the speakers. You can insert your finger here to open it. It is slowly closing. And then it stays firmly there. You can open it totally. 180 degrees. The keyboard looks like this. It has a numeric keypad. It's pretty narrow. 1, 2, 3 and 4 are slightly bluish in color, the sides more exactly. It has a large touchpad, it has an Intel i7 processor, Intel Iris Xe graphics, Intel ARC graphics, so it doesn't have an Nvidia or AMD graphical processor, but an Intel built-in and a dedicated one. Asus Expert Book is mentioned here also. It has two openings up here. The center one has to be the camera, which can be closed through that physical switch. Orange is closed, black is opened. There are two more plus two more openings there. I see something here on the left side also. Probably some sensors. Some of them must be the microphones. The heat output is present here on the front also. Opening the display creates a gap here below the laptop. Now let's power it on. Push the power button which is here at the key number 3. The display is 4K. More exactly it's not 16 by 9 aspect ratio but it's taller. And since it doesn't have an operating system it automatically enters into BIOS. It is not a touch screen but it's slightly more than 4K, 3840 by 2400. It has 40 gigabytes of memory. Some of that is shared with the onboard graphics also. 12th generation Intel i7 processor. Enter here into the advanced mode with F7. F7. The touchpad is usable under BIOS. If you go to the next one which is advanced, Using the arrow keys to the right and go down to Intel Rapid Storage Technology. Enter there. Here you can see that it has two hard drives, SSDs, one terabyte plus one terabyte, NVMe type SSD. Quit without saving. Okay. Let's just power it off. No LED is flashing on the left side. The charger looks like this, European 220 volt connector and USB-C connector. 90 watts is mentioned here, AC adapter, there's a model number. Let's try the left one. We have an orange LED, it is charging. Now the right one. Also, we have an orange jelly, so you can use both of them to charge the laptop. Here's the Windows 11. Here's the USB flash drive. Plug it in into the USB port. 
power on the laptop orange LED and the white LED are on and it automatically enters BIOS let's go here to F8 boot menu and the USB flash drive is not shown here we're in a second inserting this plastic already broke off from the flash drive at USB port it says Microsoft Windows so it is detecting the USB flash drive unplug it, it's still there press Ctrl Alt and delete it should enter into BIOS and now it should not be there the flash drive will not be detected this time USB port not available Windows USB drive has this on it it has a Windows 11 label and it's an XFET partition let's call it a 32 GB drive I'm trying to install Windows 11 and I get this message we couldn't find any drives to get a storage driver click load driver let's restart the computer press F2 to enter BIOS press F7 now using the arrow keys go here to advanced storage interface go to that one press enter and modify this serial ATA operation from RAID select the other one AHCI just press the OK now press F10 to save the changes save configuration and exit it should automatically start from the flash drive because there's nothing on the hard drive the touchpad is not working so use the tab key to go to the next and now the two tries are visible it has a power button here on the right side when you are pushing something from the left you are holding it from the right thus you are powering your computer off In the BIOS, after an operating system is installed, then you should have Windows Boot Manager up here. Before, there were two options, but they were related to the internet connection or network connection. Now, this BIOS is from 2023 October. F5 was pressed, System Diagnostics. F5 is mentioned here, ADT. F7 is this one advanced tab and back to the first one boot tab security tab save and exit MB MEBX it's asking for passwords F7 again and it's back to the screen 